Hi, let's talk about Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencils because there is a lot you will want to know about them. And you're probably wondering why don't I see all of these colors at my local Essence store? Well, that's probably because guys, throughout the two years that I've known them, they apparently have discontinued some colors and added some new ones. So you might not be able to see all of them depending on where you are, on what the stock is. Some might have sold out of the old ones and some of the new ones maybe haven't been added yet or maybe you're lucky and you will find all of them. In any case, I will show you all I have and of course tell you my opinion on the quality and if they're worth your money. Let's start with the Purple Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil, which is called Purple Rain, because purple is my favorite color. I guess you can tell it looking into my eyes. Here is a little swatch. I will also show all the swatches very close up in the end of the video, don't worry. The pigmentation is quite nice. As you see, I went like two or three times and I got all the pigmentation, so you don't get all the pigmentation from the first swipe but you eventually get it so in my opinion for a pencil that affordable it's a really very good result now let's go to this turquoise blue because why not oh i forgot to tell you the name ah okay tutu 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 turquoise turquoise how, how do you say that now the pink which is called life ink pink 28 oh by the way and the purple number is 27 and the turquoise number is 17 just in case so here is the pink and this is the color like it was slightly stained with blue because this is the color that I'm wearing on my eyes right now now this burgundy red is 29 very fantastic this is a matte all these have been metallic so far now this berry lasting is a matte this one is really pigmented as heck it is very dark. I also tried to wear it on my waterline. It did not quite last there. Like, it lasted for some time, but not for a long time. So probably these are not exactly meant for the waterline. I believe they have also coal uh, eyeliner collection, in essence, for that. Okay, so then we also have the green, which is... I have a green. <laughs> Number 12. Yeah, why not? I have a green, sounds nice. This is metallic and also mm, it has more shimmer, more sparkle than the rest of the pencils. In green they also had the number 32 Go Green, which is a beautiful lime. It is matte. It is also really pigment. It doesn't show up very well in my hand. Well, just because the, kind of my shade is my skin shade is close to lime, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's really pigmented, but it's just closer to my skin tone. Another fancy one is the silver C'est la vie number five and this is like a really really silver color look at it oh so it's not gunmetal it's not you know black with a slight silver sparkle it's really silver it's like almost like a liquid eyeliner would have been I am amazed at this pigmentation honestly as for the wear by the way guys I've been wearing these eye pencils and I can say that the mattes lost a little bit worse than metallics however both lost well so the mattes lost well and the metallics lost very well and I have super duper oily lights oh sorry I didn't tell you the name so this is the black number zero one black fever huh look at that pigmentation look at that pigmentation as i have said the wear on the oily lids is pretty amazing i did not expect this of these pencils honestly and then we have the blue sea baby oh no sorry the cool down zero nine the blue sea baby is the other one wait for it <laughs> so let's put it right here this is like a medium denim blue i think it's not leaning to teal it's not leaning to purple either this is like a very true blue kind of satin metallic finish and now finally the deep sea baby number 28 this is also satin finish but this is a deep and dark blue i don't know what it's called see it's not leaning to teal either the only downside moment for me in these pencils is that they don't have a sharpener here see there's nothing there so basically this tip like you can't really do anything with it unless you watch my video and use a method to sharpen retractable pencils but also you can use a sharpener from another automatic pencil if you have those so you can cheat a little that's what i usually do 
here are all the swatches super close up as you can see the lime is definitely there and the silver oh my god see how it reflects the light it's really silver i never had a pencil like that by the way if you like this don't forget to give it a thumbs up but going back to the main question is this makeup stuff worth the money out of your pocket and i say yes 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 a million times yes because you know there is good and good for the price so for the price these are amazing these excel all expectations these are just fabulous and as for the general quality they're still good like very good so even for a high-end pencil this would be considered good because the only downside is that you don't have the sharpener here on this side and also to get out the pigmentation you have to pass the pencil like two or three times so even for an expensive pencil this would have been considered good quality so i feel like for a drugstore product this is like absolutely amazing and absolutely fantastic and you should definitely take a look i also have like that they have quite a range of colors and i haven't shown you all by the way they also have an olive green and a brown i believe so just check with your local store and see what they have for you and if you want to see other makeup collections videos of course you can do so just check out this playlist and i'll meet you there bye